Western culture doesn't really agree with the idea of men as being feminine, but throughout history, it's quite the contrary. There's people like Louis XIV who wore a high heel and a wig and four different moles on his face. It's only our culture that says that you can't do that. One of the biggest misconceptions is that we all want to be women. That is entirely false. RuPaul said it best, you're born naked and the rest is drag. If you're a doctor and you put your scrubs on, that's drag. Anything that you do throughout your day to define who you are is drag. We're gonna cut loose and have a good time tonight. Is everyone ready for a good time? Drag is different for everyone. It's uh, very much like a fingerprint. There are so many different types of drag queens. There are glamour queens, comedy queens, butch queens. I would say that I'm a comedy queen. I just happen to be gorgeous. Some drag performers lip sync, some perform live, some don't do either of those and just use movement. Drag is an expression for me. It is an art for me. It just allows me to use voice and performance and costume. It's all encompassing. For me, it's just performance. As long as I affect you in some way, I live. Like if I walk by you and you're like, huh? I live. Or if you're scared, I live. I changed your day. Now you're thinking about something else. My grandmother let me have it when I was 13 years old. She said, baby, you're gonna piss some people off in this world. People are not gonna like you. That's not your problem. All you have to do is be yourself. At 13, I had no idea what that meant. I would never have said, I'm gonna do drag, grandma. But I fell upon it and I'm grateful for it. I think that drag began in my life as armor. It was my way of feeling beautiful when I actually didn't really feel quite that beautiful. My actual first experience in drag was probably about 16 when I was at a summer art program to hear my friends and my peers cheering for me. It felt fantastic. I definitely hid it from my parents because what if they were going to disown me? What if they were, you know, not going to love me anymore? What if I was going to be left stranded without a family? So you do sort of build a surrogate family outside of your own because it is a safety net, it's plan B. Thank you so much for allowing me to do what I do. This is my home. I think the drag community is so close because we've had to fight for so long to be ourselves. So anybody that does it, no matter who they are, you're like, you know what, you can stand next to me because you've had to fight. I've always wanted my dad and my mom to pat me on my back and say, you know what, that was awesome. The way you shook your ass on stage and, you know, and just did what you did, I, you know, whatever. I did come out to the rest of my family. Everyone else, you know, knew, and of course my father knew that I was gay and that I was even doing drag, but we never really had a conversation about it until RuPaul's Drag Race came about and he got to see me on television and um, he got to see me basically kick ass and do what I do so well, you know, and do it at my best. And um, I didn't tell my parents that I won. A few months after that, we discovered that Dad had Alzheimer's. I was there with him on his deathbed. He said he couldn't believe how strong I was. He called me a soldier and he told me how proud he was of me. I couldn't be more thankful. I talk to so many kids now. They're all kind of going through that idea of, you know, discovering themselves. I try to encourage them and tell them that, you know, if you just live your life authentically, it's like, who cares? If you are figuring out who you are and you want to dye your hair purple one day, do it. And you just have to learn not to care about what other people think. Just do you. You're going to mess it up and you're going to mess up a whole bunch. You'll figure it out. You'll be yourself eventually. Drag in my own personal life has been a force. It's been something that's pushed me. Now I feel that drag is actually just part of me. It's no longer separate. It doesn't feel like an armor. It doesn't feel like I need to become something else because of it. It is exactly who I am. I was teaching kids, dancing, acting, singing, 
When I was teaching them, I realized that I didn't even want to teach them music. I didn't want to teach them dance. I just wanted to give them permission to be themselves because of what my grandmother gave me. And that's kind of been my mission even now as a drag queen. Just give other people permission to be themselves. Open cake, subscribe!